in this video, you'll be learning what Ace Law Constant Heat of Summation Calculation. So, I'm going to walk you through three simple steps you can use in solving any Ace Law calculation at all, whether simple or complex, by following these simple three rules. So, I will appreciate it more if you stay to the end of this video and you take down every single thing so that by the end of this video, you can watch, actually what go through what we have done or learn in, what, in this video. Let's get started. So we are going to start start on what with simple one, right? So we are starting on what with the, the one that has what two equations. So the first thing you want to do here is that select the species that are unique to what a particular what we actually that was tested. Now, what how do you do that? Now the first uh, reaction. What can you see here that you cannot see here? The second part. The second reaction. What, what is here that you cannot see here? You cannot see second part. If you check the test reaction, we have a sulfur. Sulfur is here, sulfur is here. So sulfur is not unique, right? Now, uh, oxygen atom, sorry, oxygen gas is here. And oxygen is also here, so it's not unique. But, but you see SO2, SO2 is only found in what? First reaction. So what do you want to do to what? Second to what adds. Then, after doing that, then the second one, SO3 is what unique. So now the first rule to do that, that you want the first rule. Second art species that are unique to what you want to do. Then the second step is that the second step is the most important uh, step is about 85% of uh, of everything. Second step is what compare each of the equation what with the given equation and make appropriate what adjustments. Okay, what do I mean? Now, if you compare this guy with what first with what you give the equation. Now, you actually calculate what the data H of what of this one here. So you are combining what these two reactions to get what the data H of this guy here, right? So you are going to compare each of each of these reactions to what to the main equation. Then what make appropriate what adjustments. Now what do I please follow me here so I will understand. Now, now those those special you have separate that that which I want to what take note of when you are comparing it with what with the what main equation. Now. Compare this first one and it, so, uh, the main one here, what are you going to get? SO2. SO2 is what is on the product side, right? SO2 is what is on the product side. Do you get that? So they're on the same side, right? So you are not going to reverse because they're on the same, they're on the same side. But here we have, how many more do we have here? Here we have two moles. Here we have uh, one, one mole. So to make this guy the same, to, the same with this guy, I want to multiply the first equation by what? By two. Now the reason I'm applying by two so that two can be here because two is here, right? So if I should multiply two by two, here will be two, two, two. So now any time I multiply, I also multiply. We also multiply this guy by what by two. So we go to what? Multiply the first equation by, by what by two. If I should multiply by two, here we have two x solid plus what two O two gas. Give me what. 2SO2 what gas, right? So my data H, I want to multiply my data H by what? By 2. So then we use our calculator. Right? So now that is what the first thing you have to do. Now, the next one is what? SO3, right? SO3. SO3 here yeah, is on the what? Is on the what uh, uh product side, but SO2 here is what is on the what uh reactor side. So if you check SO2 here is what on the product side, SO2 here is what on the reactor side. So because SO2 is, is on the reactor side, what are you going to do here? We are going to watch reverse. So at this one will come here, you guys. Right? Now, but here, how many more do we have here? Here we have two moves. So I'm going to what reverse the equation two and multiply by what by two, right? So, reverse equation what? 2 and what? Multiply by, by what? 2 because there is 2 here. So, if you do that, here we have what? 2 SO3 gas, right? Giving what? 2x solid plus what? Now, remember we are multiplying by 2, right? So, 2 times 3 over 2 because the more here is what? 3 over 2 because there are 2 and to go out. So what we left is what three. So here I'm gonna have three O two gas, right? 
Rema, whenever I reverse the sign will change to the opposite sign here because here is what ne a negative. So you see, I've reversed now to change to positive. So what am I going to do? I want to multiply it by what? By two. So three nine five dot six times two. I have got seven nine one. Seven nine one dot two kilojoules per mole. So this is what is the uh this is the what second step so that don't what will be second step now the last step is this combine the two what equation by what uh cancel last question that, that are what that will come multiple times right now what you want what you, uh, you want to understand is that when uh when a special come multiple times and they are what in uh, opposite uh, point or opposite direction that is if one is 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 what is the what is in the other side and the one is what on the uh quarter side that would be what subtract them so if you look at the software here software here is what is on the reactant side then software here is what is on the reactant side can you see that so you can see that this and this is what you grasp right now this is what oxygen now how many oxygen do you have here here we have two here we have what oxygen right so if you combine them together so it's going to be 3 minus 2. How many will be left? 1. 3 minus 2, which is what? 1. So 1 also you will not be what? On the other side. You get. So when you combine it here, we now have what? 2SO3 gas. What happened here? Now remember, this was already at because 3 minus 2 is what? 1. So now they are the remaining one will go to what? The other side because. So we will go to what? The other side. So you have. 2xO2 gas plus now how many left going to be uh, O2 gas. So what you just have to do is to what um add these ones together. Great this minus this plus this. So the point your calculator. One nine seven. So my entire H of this reaction is what? Plus one nine seven or what? Six kilo juice. So these are what three simple steps you can use in what any ends lowers calculation, right? So go through it and what um uh, understand it. Let's uh take the last one. Now we have been giving all these equations here, right? I've been giving what all these equations here now to calculate what the, the uh entropy for what this particular what equation. So I'm gonna, uh, we have to uh, follow that, those, the, the three rules I'm giving to you. The first one to do is what? To circle our species that are unit of what? A particular what reaction. When you see, now we check if uh, O2 is there, O2 is there, O2 is there, so we are not going to separate that. CO2 is here, CO2 is here, so we are not going to separate that. H2, H2 is here, H2 is here, H2 is here, we are going to leave it like that. When you see C3H is, C3H is only unit of what? This particular what reaction. Why? Because you cannot see. C3H8 here, C3H8 here, right? So that is why we are setting this at. Then there was C4H4, C3H4 is only into what is my level of reaction. Then uh, hydrogen. Well, hydrogen got rid of this one here, right? So this is the first thing you want to do. So what's the last species that are into what is my level of reaction, right? So this is what the last species that are into what is my level of reaction, right? So after doing that here, we have to compare each of the equation words to the what main equation. So if you should do that here, now the first one, C3H8 is on what? On the reactant side. But C3H8 is, is on the product side. So what do we have to do? We have to, work to reverse the first equation. Right? When we reverse the first equation, the other one will move here, the other one will move here. Right? So we reverse what the first equation, we have to have what? 3CO2 gas plus what? 4H2O liquid. They give you what? C3 H what it's gas plus what 502 watt gas, right? Now, remember when we reverse this one, we change over to positive, so meta H here is now what plus 220 kilojoules per watt per mole. So that, that, that the first one, the other one here, C3H4 is on the what the other side. C3H4 is on, is on the reactor side, so and I have what equal what to do. So we are leaving what the second equation.
right? So then we have less is what this guy here. Two H two is what is on the uh, reactor side. Here is also on the reactor side. So we are not going to do anything. We are going to leave what the way it is. So we're going to be. So that was the second uh, step, right? So the, the last step so is to combine them together. So those that are common potents, I'm going to look for a way to what to cancel them out. If you look at this one here, CO, CO, CO2 is on the reactor side here. CO2 is on, is on the reactor, is on the post side here, right? They are opposite side. So how many more do you have here? Three. Yeah, you have three. So I want to cancel that. So this will cancel out this one here. Right? The next thing you want to do here is that now here got five. On the product side, we have five because O2 here is five. On the reactor side, here we have four, and here we have one. So four plus one is what five, right? So this two we can also have this guy here. Right? Then here we have four H2O on the what reactor side. And here we have two and two, right? So two of them we have we have together to cancel out this guy. So cancel that. So the next thing is to what to combine them together. So when you combine them together, what are you going to get? What do you have C3H4 plus 2H2. Okay, here is what gas. Gas. Then you have what? C3 H8 what gas. Now which what is in line with this other one here? Right? So the the what what you want to do now is so what? Some all these ones here do it is here we have plus two to zero then what minus one nine three minus one five five seven one to six so that what you what that what you're doing two to zero okay so then we have two 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 zero yeah then we have plus two 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 zero right minus one nice okay here we have seven here Yeah, correct. So plus plus two 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 zero minus one nine three seven minus five seven one eight six. So here we have minus two eight 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 six kilojoules per mole. So that is for this video, right? So go through what I've done here and you find that ends law, if you follow these simple rules I've given to you, be able to work, answer any ends law at all. So if you have a question, you can leave it on the comments, right? If you're not subscribed to this uh, to this channel, please subscribe to this channel so that you don't go to miss my official work of the world. I want to do more complex ones because there are, there are some one will be giving forward equation in my future video, we are going to do that. If you're not, you not subscribed to this channel, please do that now. Hit the notification bell so you're not going to miss out, right? See you in the next video.